We don't know about you, but here at Reactions, we love sweets of every shape and kind, and that includes white chocolate. It may lack the rich flavor of milk chocolate and the glossy brown color of dark chocolate. Many people even argue that it's not really chocolate at all. But today, we're gonna show some love to this red-headed stepchild of the chocolate world. To understand the chemistry of white chocolate and why so many people refuse to call it chocolate, we have to understand a little bit about how chocolate is made. It starts out as cacao beans, which are harvested, fermented, and roasted. After roasting, the beans are ground and pressed to remove an oily substance known as cocoa butter, and that's where our white chocolate is born. Because at this point, the process of making chocolate splits into a few different paths, generally involving how much of that cocoa butter and solids is going to be involved in the final product. To make cocoa powder, most of the cocoa butter is removed and the remaining cocoa solids are dried. To make baking and eating chocolate, some cocoa butter is left in the final product, then sugar and milk fat and solids are thrown in. But to make white chocolate, it's all about the cocoa butter. Cocoa butter is mostly made up of the fatty acids palmitic acid, stearic acid, and oleic acid. Those fatty acids are tied up in groups of three, called triglycerides. They only contribute fat-soluble flavor compounds of cocoa, but mix those fats with sugar, dried milk, and vanilla for a much-needed flavor boost, and ta-da! We've got white chocolate. But cocoa butter creates that velvety texture of eating chocolate, so we have those fatty acids to thank for that. The cocoa butter has unique melting properties, which is suitable to melt in your mouth during consumption. Also, this property makes white chocolate easy to work with when decorating confectionery, and its color contrast makes for a lovely accent. But what makes white chocolate stand out is really more about what it's missing. The cocoa liqueur, which is what chocolate makers call the paste made from roasted beans, is widely considered to be the heart and soul of quote-unquote real chocolate. That's because it has a huge variety of flavor compounds and other plant chemicals that give chocolate its uniquely divine flavor. But when the cocoa solids are pressed, most of those chemicals stay with the ground beans, not the cocoa butter. Additionally, all those purported health benefits of dark chocolate the compounds thought to be beneficial, the polyphenols, are once again missing from white chocolate. It's pretty much just fat and sugar, we're sorry not sorry to say. This doesn't mean people haven't tried to make it healthier though. One research group even tried to add the essential dietary fatty acids, EPA and DHA, to white chocolate to help people boost their intake of brain-healthy omega-3s. And since those fats blend well with fats in white chocolate, it even kind of worked. We'd still advise you to keep white chocolate as a sometimes-only food, though. So, that's white chocolate. Is it real chocolate? Many have asked, and we're not the boss of chocolate makers. But we can tell you that compared to milk and dark chocolate, white chocolate lacks a lot of key chemistry. But it tastes nice and looks awfully pretty drizzled over truffles. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Are you interested in seeing us take on chocolate as a fermented food? Let us know. And if you want to see more tasty videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.